Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki and today I'm going to show you how to make a matcha latte from home. It's so simple, so easy. You'll wonder why you ever went to Starbucks. So first things first, I use this frother. I got this from Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's from my Amazon's favorites. It makes everything so simple. You just pour it all in here. You do everything in here and you don't make a mess. These are my favorite syrups. I find the taste of them way better than the most popular one. I think that's the one Starbucks uses. I just don't like it. And then your matcha, you want to make sure you get a ceremonial grain matcha. It doesn't matter where you buy it. I bought mine at the Sprouts Market, but you can get it on Amazon. There's so many places that sell matcha. So make sure you get a ceremonial grain because that's the one that's best for drinks. I have my dandy dandy mason jar with my glass straw that I really like to use. And then my milk of choice is this Kalima Farms oat milk. But you could use whatever milk you want. It doesn't have to be oat milk. I just think the taste is so much better with this one. Okay guys, so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get your frother and you're gonna add a little bit of water. Just a tiny bit, just above the little spinny thingy. And you're gonna get your matcha. This is so we can dissolve the matcha and there's no clump. Now that I have my water in there, I'm gonna grab one teaspoon and I'm gonna put some matcha in there. Now, once it's in there, we're gonna turn it on to the hot setting. That way it dissolves all the matcha and we don't have any clumps. This is very important. So now that my matcha is dissolved, I'm gonna go ahead and add my sweetener and I'm gonna use this syrup. This is my favorite syrup, but when I'm trying to be healthy, I actually use monk fruit or stevia. It really just depends what you're going for. I'm gonna do two pumps. And then since I'm making this matcha for my mom, she likes to use the Oatly oat milk and you can find this at Target. So I'm gonna add a little bit of oat milk. And then once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and place this in the cold setting because we want an iced matcha latte. So that's gonna be the last setting on the frother. And you're just gonna wait for it to stop spinning and it'll be ready. Now my matcha is done. It's nice and foamy. I'm going to pour it in my glass. And that is all you guys. If you like it less foamy, just stop it before, but. All right, guys, that's it. It was so easy, so simple. Literally, I really recommend you getting this frother. It's such a good investment. It is useful for so many things. I use it for my coffee as well. And now I have my matcha. It took me less than five minutes. 